I've been working with Rube Goldberg for six years now at this point, teaching engineering students actually how to build what they create, what they design in their own minds, because uh, it's very funny. A lot of engineers don't have that experience uh, going into the workplace, and so that's something that I like to mentor them towards. I've started the organization, the Purdue University Geological Society, uh, better known as PUGS on campus, where we mentor young students to become future geologists, or even people that aren't interested in geology, just to go out in the field, have some fun with us. The team always makes fun of me because, well, here's a geologist, but guess who's leading this team of engineers? A geologist. So in terms of my background, let's call me an engineering geologist. You really do have to ex you know, express yourself in terms of teaching others how to replicate what you do on a daily basis. You evolve into it over time. It's not something that I don't think that you're just born with it. It's you need to practice and you need to kind of develop. The ES-111 course is one of those courses designed to actually entice students to come to us. Uh, I'm actually having about four or five students come and join our department and go into my next course I'm teaching, ES-112, because they've seen the passion for it and they want to experience it for themselves. While I love, um, you know, mentoring people, love giving them a heads up or, I guess, help them maybe figure out their own future, mine's up in the air. Um, you know, do I continue on with Rube Goldberg? Do I want to work for Rube Goldberg Inc? Or do I continue on with geology? Uh, currently I'm working towards my master's. Do I work towards my PhD, continue to do research, uh, or become a professor or a teacher of this? The sky's the limit, I don't know.